Hello my friend, today I am going to show you how you can switch your tire from summer to winter or winter to summer. Just follow these easy steps. You need a, a car jack and make sure whenever you are using the car jack, it placed between, you can see uh, close to your wheel, there is a two small triangles and make sure it goes between those triangles and so it won't damage that car body so make sure you follow your car manual as well for the safety reason so now you can see I am choosing my drill I have attached that extension with my drill and I'm using drill to lift that up You don't need to lift that wheel all the way up you just need the couple inches up from the ground so that's why you have enough room so the wheel should be rotate and you can take that wheel off So friend, either you can use your torque wrench to open this, your uh, car assemblies or the power impact wrench. Let's see if it's work. Let's see. Oh, it's rotating. So that's when I, maybe if I'm using, if I'm using that manual one, I need to put the wheel down because otherwise look it will start rotating but if I'm using that one I don't need to do that because it doesn't need doesn't require that let's see the manual process Not bad. Let's try on that one. So friends, I'm using all of the methods, so that's why you know, like how you can do with the electronics as well as the manual. Last one we can use with the automatic one. And again that one.
friend now we are going to remove the wheel so that's why we need to now we are putting the new wheel in uh, my friends make sure whenever you're putting the new wheel in uh, don't tight these bolt together make sure you can do is like a cross sectional and also if you, uh, it's highly recommended you choose the torque wrench and uh, follow your car's manual the how much torque is required for your lug nut and uh, tight little bit so that's why a tight little bit your lug nuts so that's why they are aligned to their uh, to their position and uh, set up your torque and then you're good to go to change your wheel Now friend, I'm adjusting my uh, torque as per my car manual and uh, I'm going to tighten the lug nut and uh, make sure it goes like a clockwise and once it's reached to their desired torque and you will see that click sound. So once you hear the click sound, you can, uh, that means the, the whatever the torque is required is reach out to that level and your lug nut will not move any further and there is always plus and plus five or minus five so you can try a little bit more but yeah that's the procedure you should follow carefully but if you don't have a torque wrench that's totally okay you can uh, use your like the regular car accessories and uh, for like for an emergency case like if you are going outside and your tire is punctured and you need to change your tire then you can use your car assembly just in case for a, just one wheel but all of the wheel if you want to change the torque wrench is highly recommended on that scenario my friend the reason i still lift that tire up because i want that lug nut should be stay on their place because if i lift it down the tire will start push through the rim so that's why the alignment will be impacted so that's why I make sure tight little bit when when the tire is lift lift that up So again, you just need to hear the click sound. So once you hear the click sound, that means it's it's on their maximum. You don't need to tighten again.
That's the maximum. So if you can see, this is not moving anymore. So that's going to be already reached there. Uh, maximum. Let's try. Look, it's it's not moving anymore. We are good to go. That's all. Thanks for watching my video guys. Have a wonderful day.